All right, today we're going to be talking about a topic that's not uh, most exciting in the world, but it's extremely important. And so Mothers Against Drunk Driving is uh, the topic we're going to be talking about today. They're, it's, the acronym is MADD, M-A-D-D. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. This is a group that uh, has been advocates for, you know, trying to prevent drinking and driving for as long as I can remember. And, you know, they, they seem to have made a lot of, uh, of, of, of headway in that area. And they're, they're a national organization, potentially even worldwide, and they, they really do a great job with things. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to share my screen here so you can take a look at, um, at what's going on with MAD in the current state of affairs. So um, it currently works where you just go to madd.org um, and then there's the Louisiana version of it. But here is the, um, here's the homepage for MAD. Um, and so, you know, their slogan is no more victims and they really do, they have a great website here and they really do seem like they're on top of it, uh, trying to preach about drunk driving and preventing alcohol. Uh, the the, the th part that I thought was pretty neat is they actually have um, a segment, you know, under the problem on teen drinking myths and facts, under the solution, they talk about teen drinking prevention and the power of youth and the power of parents and why 21. And uh, it looks like they go into some of the science on some of this as well. So it's pretty neat. And if you wanna get some help, you can find, uh, and I'm in no way affiliated with this group at all, um, but you can find an attorney, you're a concerned citizen, various other things. And so MAD has a, uh, you know, a pretty interesting story. And so there's a lot that we can, that we can learn from this group. Um, the, like I said, under the teen drinking prevention, uh, they have, you know, this different program on the power of parents, which is great for our group. And then they have another one on the power of the youth and, you know, getting kids to, you know, just say, just say no to alcohol, you know, and the really, one of the things I was reading on here is, you know, they talk about the drinking age being 21 and, you know, they go into every myth, you know, I'll click on the next one. Uh, they actually really do, do a deep dive on all the different myths that people say uh, out there about what's going on, uh, you know, with the brain and, you know, oh, if I can fight for my country, I should be able to drink and do various things like that. And just like any, any, I mean, drinking is not in and of itself inherently bad. It's just when you couple it with a young brain and inexperience and, you know, just, just lack of decision-making ability, uh, it, it can be a very dangerous thing. And so they do really hit home on some of some big important questions here. You know, if I'm old enough to go to war, I should be able to, old enough to drink. Um, you know, alcohol is not that big of a deal. Uh, the law makes you only make you want to drink because it's forbidden fruit. So they really kind of address a lot of that, uh, which is which is very productive, I think. And then they give some teen driver safety tips, talking about distractions, which we talk about all the time in our group. Uh, don't overcrowd the vehicle. Don't ride with an impaired driver. You know, those types of things. And they're very obvious, but it's things that we need to be constantly telling our kids about on a regular basis. They have these reports that they do uh, every year, and it basically gives the status of, uh, of what's going on in individual states. And I thought this was pretty neat. Uh, it took a couple of clicks for me to get to Louisiana, but basically what they do is they rate all the states with their rating scale. And it looks like there's even 16 states that don't have an uh, interlocking device for drunk drivers, and they go through that. Uh, and, and so that lowers ratings, but Louisiana is down here pretty low at a 2.5, which is not good. Um, and so we need to find a way to, and it goes through how the ratings are done. But, uh, you know, in Louisiana, we, we need to work uh, to try to do what we can to, to, to make, you know, make our state better. And so they go into, you know, saying that we're on the path to eliminate drunk driving. And then we, inter we uh, introduced some laws back in 2017. But yet, you know, those laws haven't been changed in a number of years to keep making it better and better and better. Uh, so one of the things I'm probably going to do after this is I'm going to reach out to the local office. It looks like they have an office in Baton Rouge um, over on Sherwood Forest Boulevard. And I'm just going to see, you know, exactly, you know, what they have going on, if, they, if they're interested in being a part of our group, uh, or maybe they could give us some information or some advocacy tips or whatever on how we can, uh, we can as parents, 
you know, teach teens to drive safer behind the wheel and to avoid alcohol at all costs and uh, make sure that they're not riding with anyone who's uh, been drinking alcohol or doing anything like that. So MAD is a, uh, it's, you know, it, it has a singular mission, no more victims. And basically they just wanna make sure that everybody comes home safe and, you know, drinking and driving is still the leading cause of death in auto accidents. And so we wanna make sure that uh, the kids are coming home safe and they're making smart decisions uh, so that they don't put themselves in a precarious situation. So Seth Smiley here from the Smiley Law Firm, and this is another edition of the Parents of Teen Drivers Facebook group. Please feel free to leave comments on uh, if you've had any experiences with MAD or any other groups like this so that we can, uh, so that we can all learn more from everybody's experience. Thank you.